Okay, I'm ready. Let's do this. Hello humans! Before you ask, yes, I did indeed get a haircut. Boom! It's considerably shorter. <laughs> this occurred, this chopping of locks and hair and tress trestles? What's that word for hair? It starts with like T-R-E. Let's Google it. Ah, trestles. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, with my now short hair, um, there was some, I hadn't told anyone that I was doing this except two of my best friends, Georgia and Tara, and obviously my family. So I kind of walked into school. It was hilarious because no one recognized me. One of my very close friends uh, was actually standing talking to me, but she was looking at some leggings that she was lending me and she was like holding me in her hand and she kind of looked up and she just stopped talking. So yeah, I've got these ones, but they've just got like a little hole in the bum. So like how long is your shirt going to... She literally thought I was a different person. She glanced up, saw me, and just stopped. She was like, what? Sorry, that's, you're not, oh wait, no you are Bella. What? What is this? What is this sorcery cast upon thee and thy trestles? Another thing that came with everyone telling me I look different was, you actually look like this person. So today I am going to do a bit of compare and contrast with uh, me and the people that I supposedly look like. The first doppelganger that really came to mind when I got my hair cut uh, was Gwen Stacy from The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 and also just the Spider-Man franchise in general. Now to get the Gwen Stacy look, I kind of just put a headband in and straightened my hair um, and voila, I am the next Spider-Man love interest. Which is actually a very dangerous thing to be. To complete your Gwen Stacy look, you want to get a little folder and just hug it to your chest. Do you like Branzino? I mean, my mom, my mom's making Branzino for dinner. You should come. We're gonna. It's, it's a fish. Next person I think I looked remotely like was Aunt May, also from The Amazing Spider-Man. To make myself resemble Aunt May even in the slightest, I did a half up, half down. Kind of got some hair gathered at the back there, just hanging out, and uh, I split my fringe kind of down the middle because she had little side bits. And yeah, so. Now I look like Aunt May. This is one of the less distinct, uh, like, doppelgangernesses. So if you can't see it, I don't blame you because I pushed myself really hard to get this one. <laughs> Next up is the ever fantastic Grace Helbig. Again, this is one of the less uh, obvious doppelgangernesses. Actually, it probably isn't even a doppelgangerness. I think someone just said it's because of my fringe. To even try to look like the wonderful Grace Helbig, as I've pointed out in videos before, is just fantastic. I just straightened all of my hair and I thickened my fringe a little bit and just I'm still trying to figure out how to do this. It's not, it's not really working. The next person that I was related to looking like, not by myself this time actually, is Taylor Swift. To get a Taylor Swift-esque look I just put my fringe out and put, yeah, it's just the fringe. Also though I was wearing this striped sweater when that occurred, um, actually occurred last night and I just slept in the clothes from last night. I haven't even changed today. The next person I suppose to look a little bit like is Zoe Deschanel. Zoe Deschanel. Zoe Des... Deschanel. Zoe... Whatever her name is. To look like Katy Perry's twin, I just took my glasses off and kept the same hairstyle as the Taylor Swift. Uh, it's the fringe. It's the fringe. And last but not least, Miss Tracy McBean from the sh TV show Tracy McBean. I actually came up with this lookalike all by myself because I was in the, in the hairdresser and I was like, wow, this hair's a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Wow, I've also got a fringe. Wow, I'm also wearing glasses. Wow, I look like Tracy McBean. So yeah guys, those are all the people that I thought I kind of looked like with my new hairstyle. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Who do you think that I look like? Here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all on the flip side. I love you, and goodbye. Fun fact, I'm actually going to a costume party in a couple of hours, um, and I'm going as Thor, Odin's son.